Hello everyone, I'm Chef Bruce Brown and welcome to the Ingalls Table. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my Asian shrimp quesadillas. Yeah, that's right, Asian shrimp quesadillas, a little cross action there. I got everything that I need from my local Ingalls, so hey, let's get started. First off, we're going, I've got about 12 ounces to a pound, peeled and deveined shrimp. For this recipe, I like using a little bit smaller shrimp. If you want to use like a salad shrimp, you can, but I still like a little heft to them. So these are what are called 5160s. These shrimp, that means 5160 means there's between 51 to 60 whole shrimp per pound. So they're a little, bit smart, uh, a little bit smaller. They're not the size of a baby's arm like some of those prawns and everything. You, you don't want that in a quesadilla. You want enough so you can get a little bit of shrimp in every bite. So we're gonna make a real quick marinade for these shrimp. I have about a teaspoon and a half of teriyaki sauce in my measuring cup. I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons of sesame oil, a little red pepper flake, maybe half a teaspoon, that's about it and about a tablespoon of fresh, shredded, grated, whatever you want to call it, ginger. I'm gonna whip this all together just like this. Make sure that all, all the ginger gets broken up. And then we're just gonna pour it right over top. Stir them around a little so that they get nice and coated. And it, you know, these shrimp, they will not take long in the frying pan. All you need is just a couple of minutes. Now, to go with the shrimp, since it is a little more Asian, I have water chestnuts, canned water chestnuts that I buy sliced and I, I chop up, do a little julienne on them to make them little matchsticks. I've got some red bell pepper that I seeded and made into matchsticks. And then I've got some finely diced up snow peas. Uh, you can use sugar snap peas if you like, but they're, those are usually a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. It, I would like them a little bit flatter and that sliced a little bit more. So these work out real well. So go on ahead. I'm going to put just a little bit of vegetable oil in the bottom of the skillet. This thing heats up fast. And to start, we're going to start by putting the shrimp in. Get them worked around. There we go. Oh, you can smell that, that sesame oil. Really brings a great scent to this. The, uh, the red pepper flake is gonna add just a touch of, uh, of heat. Now, to this, we're gonna add in about half a cup of water chestnuts. Same with the red peppers, about half a cup of red peppers and about half a cup of the peas. Do you know the difference between snow peas and sugar snap peas? Snow peas, the flatter version, are basically just an immature sugar snap pea. They have, uh, they have not matured enough where the, the inner peas on the inside of the pod have actually matured and gotten big. They're just more like little discs in snow peas. So they, they're just as edible, even though they're a little bit, for, for lack of a better term, maybe you want to call it raw, but still, they're, I think they're really great and everything. I like the flat version, personally. The shrimp are now a pinkish, a really cooked through. You can see the, uh, the marinade is really starting to, to just lightly bubble and uh, it's cooking all the vegetables. So we're gonna set that on the side, take our other frying pan and put it right on top, let that get heated up. And I have quesadillas here. I mean, I have tortillas. What I have is I like using a 10 inch tortilla for a quesadilla, but I also like using flavored tortillas, colored tortillas. I have an orange one, which is, uh, it can be anything from sun-dried tomato to jalapeno cheddar. And I have a green one, which is basically a spinach and herb quesadilla. They have whole wheat tortillas. They have lemon pepper tortillas. Anything on these is really great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a touch of vegetable oil 
on the tortilla and using a pastry brush, just lightly move it around. Make sure to coat one side of your tortilla. You don't need both sides, just the side that's going into the frying pan. This will start browning. We're gonna give it a few moments. Now, this right here should be enough of the filling to make at least four quesadillas. You could probably even get six. I'm gonna take some, drain a little bit of the juice off. You don't want it to be too juicy. And just lay it on one half. Get up close to the edge, but not quite all the way. And then for a quesadilla, you usually have cheese in it. I'm thinking, okay, what's gonna go well with an Asian shrimp quesadilla? I wanted something that was just a little bit, what's the term I'm looking for? Milder, not quite as strong as flavor. The tortilla is starting to brown nicely. But I want something that's still creamy. So I'm using Monterey Jack. You can use just about any white cheese that you like. But I've got Monterey Jack here that I'm just sprinkling right on the very top. You don't need a lot. And then fold the blank part of the tortilla over, just like that. Now, if it gets to the point that you don't think that's done enough, the easiest thing to do, turn the whole thing over, just like this. Make sure it gets browned on both sides. There it is. You can cut them into sections, serve them as finger sandwiches, keep them whole, just cut them in half. These are simple quesadillas, but something really different. I mean, I love shrimp. You can do anything you want with a shrimp, but be creative. You can make quesadillas out of just about anything anymore. Thank you so much for joining me here at Dangle's Table. I think you really like this one. Be sure and check out the website for more tips, tricks, and recipes. Until then, I'll see you next time.